Hi, and welcome to Watchmen on the Pod. Today, we're going to continue our reading in Heroes of the Bible, a devotional by Joshua Cooley. It's 90 days, and we're just plugging away day by day. We've arrived at day 28. As usual, we're going to go back to day 27's battle plan. Next time you watch or play with something Transformers related, thank God for transforming lives. As we had said last time, new hero, new hero, the hero who anoints kings. Any takers? It is Samuel. If you guess Samuel, you are correct. Day 28, a true hero for God, dot, 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 knows that only faith in Jesus can save us. A hero's tale. Samuel was a special kid. He was a miraculous gift from God to his parents who couldn't have children on their own. When Samuel was still very young, his mother dedicated him to the Lord's service at the tabernacle, the large tent where Israel worshipped and sacrificed to God before King Solomon built the temple. Samuel spent his entire childhood serving Eli, the high priest, and the Lord at the tabernacle. Later in life, he became one of Israel's greatest prophets and anointed Israel's first two kings at God's command. If anybody could earn God's favor, it would be Samuel, right? But in Samuel, or in 1 Samuel 3, the story of God calling Samuel in the middle of the night, the Bible mentions something interesting. Samuel did not yet know the Lord because he had never had a message from the Lord before. Verse 7 message from the headquarters God saved you by his grace when you believed and you can't take credit for this it is a gift from God salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done so none of us can boast about it Ephesians 2 through I'm sorry chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 decoding the message whoa wait a minute how is this possible that Samuel didn't know the Lord yet Samuel's parents had dedicated him to the Lord before he was out of diapers. Every day Samuel served in God's tabernacle. Didn't he have special privileges with God or something? Nope. This is a small part of Samuel's life story, but it is very important to understand. In ancient Israel, many Israelites believed they automatically earned God's favor because of their heritage, that they were Israelites, or the good things they did. Lots of people believe the same thing today. But as Samuel's story shows, truly knowing God isn't a matter of race, upbringing, or human effort. Nothing we do can save us or earn God's favor. No amount of good works can do it. Neither can attending church every Sunday or growing up in a Christian home. Because of our sin, we are separated from God and need help. But God's forgiveness isn't earned. It's a gift. See today's verse. And that gift is God's son, Jesus. He died to save us. As Samuel grew older, he trusted in the Lord, and God gave him the gift of salvation. Even though Samuel lived long before Jesus came to earth and died for our sins, he believed that God would one day send a Savior. See Hebrews 11.13. A true hero for God understands that only faith in Jesus can save him or her. Have you trusted in God's saving son? Battle plan. Make a list of everything good you've ever done. It could be as long as you want. Don't read any further until you do this. Dot, 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 dot. Finished? Good. Now crumple up that paper and throw it away as a reminder that doing good things can't save you. Only Jesus can. And that, my friends, day 28. Until then, or until next time.